what is up y'all it's me tick tosh and welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel make sure you like comment and subscribe on the video because why wouldn't you happy july the first you guys i am so excited for july 1st i'm trying to get this lighting right i'm so excited for july not only the first but the entire month because i set myself some realistic goals and i plan to accomplish them i really really do i'm going to accomplish every goal that i set for forth today starting today even if i don't meet the goals on the dates in july that i say i'm going to meet them trust me i'm going to get them done i plan to be more productive in my prayer i plan to be more productive on my social media so that i can get some money coming in and yeah so i want bigger blessings all july and i have the ability to make some money but sometimes my sciatic nerve gets the best of me and i just want to stay stationary in here i get promotional items from tiktok and all i have to do is make the videos and things of that nature no not that things of that nature and yeah y'all so i'm gonna have some dry cereal this morning i didn't want any milk with it and I'm going to have some water. You got a cold one or no? Okay, so, no, you don't have to go back and get it. Put one in the freezer there. Oh, so at any rate, you guys, I'm going to eat my Apple Jacks. I'm going to tie my hair back up better than this. I'm going to make all the videos that I'm supposed to make today because I have a bad habit of letting the days go by. I know I have two different promo things that I need to do and I'm going to be consistent on all my social media sites. Not only that, I'm going to be consistent with my health, meaning I'm going to take multiple trips down my hallway. I'm going to try, try, try to make it up my stairs today. And then again, I may not do the stairs today because I did so much at the beach yesterday. When you're in that water, I'm just exercising, exercising, exercising. I feel like I need to go to the beach every day and do water aerobics. Comment down below if anybody has ever done water aerobics and you've seen a drastic change if you're living with like sciatica, arthritis, anything like that. Let me know if water helps you. Okay, y'all. Fourth of July is approaching. I still don't have anything to wear. I know that I could wear something out of my closet, but like there's not many places that I go due to my disability. So I would love, love, love to at least, you know, just be festive and have like a nice red or blue or red blue or white dress on i'm gonna get on amazon and see if there's enough time for my dress to be here in three days because you know they have amazon prime so i didn't want to spend the money because again i don't like spending money on myself i did buy my 14 year old something to wear on the 4th of july so that he can be comfortable out there Harry, do you want me to order you a um a red or blue t-shirt for the parade or do you have one i'll just get you a fourth of july one so yeah yeah i'm gonna order my husband a fourth of july t-shirt he not gonna wear no shorts although i want him to wear some shorts because he wore shorts back in the day and now all of a sudden he just won't wear shorts even if they're the long ones past his knees i don't know what's wrong with the man but he need to wear some shorts he always want to wear big hot clothes in the hot sun but um anyway yeah so that's my plans for today i have about five videos to make i already did edit a video right before this one and it's going to drop a little later today letting y'all see what we did at the beach yesterday on sunday fun day a family friendly cheap 
budget friendly thing that you can do. I had so much fun, but y'all see it in the video. Um, also, what else was I going to say? Sometimes I get in the mode. Not people think that all big people just sit around and eat. No, that's not the case with me. Like, even when I buy food, I never finish my food. I can eat on my food for maybe all day long, depending on what type of food it is. But um, I might make some nacho salad or some steak nachos or something like that today because I was on Facebook. That's another thing. And so much good food been coming down. And I saw one post with steak nachos. Oh my goodness. Look so good. But yeah. Okay. So back to what I was saying. Tomorrow I'll be going out to the grocery store. Tomorrow will be July the 2nd. So I will be getting things that I'm going to have my husband make for the 4th of July. Um, what else am I going to be getting? Maybe. Because he cooked ham, potato salad. Y'all saw my last videos when I went grocery store, grocery shopping to the store to get it. He made it so good. So anyway, um, yeah, I got to get whatever we're going to take down to the parade, which will just most likely be very cold drinks because it was very hot last year so i know it's going to be hot again i don't know what we're going to do after the parade yet i do want to see fireworks this year back in my hometown where i'm from california i used to go to the parade the festival and then the light show every single year but when we moved out here to Georgia, I didn't really know where to, you know, what was safe, excuse me, what was safe, what was good, things of that nature. Because this day and time, you just have to be careful. And when you're not from a certain place, I've been here a while now, over seven years. So I kind of know most of the places and I know what areas to frequent and what areas not to. So yeah. So we're going to get some grocery videos. I, I do want to go to, I don't know if I want to go to Trader Joe's, but I think I do want to go to Trader Joe's because for number one, my son, my 20 year old, he drinks like the healthy drinks and he eats salads and things like that. So I want to see what I can find there. I know a lot of people say it's very expensive. But nevertheless, I used to go there with my aunt years ago, but I never paid attention to prices. I was just always on my phone while she was shopping. I used to drive her there. And then Sprouts Farmer Market, I've done Instacart there with my daughter. I've only been in Sprouts Farmer Market one time because I wanted to see what it was like. And they had a scooter available. And I was like, yes, I'm going in. And I went in. And I still didn't pay attention to prices or anything. So I'm going to go and get that experience. Um, and like I said, we try to get a little bit healthier. I'm not going to spend tons of money on healthy stuff from those stores. I literally want to go and look for something for my 20 year old. And I want to look for some fruit for my 14 year old because I want to make him like fruit bowls and things like that that he can access. I'm going to start doing like portion things for him. This it won't, probably won't take place this week, although I'm going to go buy it. So I'll probably be preparing that on a video over the weekend and things like that to help me stop putting things like all the sweet cereals in my system. I got to start getting like only the Cheerio cups, stuff like that. But yeah, so that's neither here nor there. I also am going to be doing a big grocery haul, but I'm on the fence, y'all. I'm on the fence. I really, really, really want to stick to this one time a week. Not one time a week. What am I trying to say? I want to go to the grocery store weekly instead of buying a big haul because y'all know what I find? Meat stays in the freezer. You don't end up cooking it. Then you end up having to toss it, 
my husband does not want to toss it, then yeah, so I'm I'm on on the fence. I'll keep y'all posted on how I plan to do that, but I gotta make a decision fast so that I can get these meals planned out, all of that. Y'all, I was supposed to take my hair down yesterday, but I ended up liking it so much. So I'm gonna leave it up until after the fourth, then I'm gonna take it down. Just because I want it to look really cute, pent up with my 4th of July dress, if I can find one. If not, I'm gonna be wearing something from home. But yeah, y'all, enough of me rambling. I hope that I've inspired someone to set some goals, make some plans. Just because you're disabled does not mean that you don't have goals. Please don't ever think that you cannot set goals as a disabled person. I'm disabled, and yes, I think realistically, but at the same time, I have big dreams, big plans for myself. I'm going to tell y'all one of my big dreams. I want to get me a house that goes outwards, not upwards, where I don't have to climb stairs, all of that. And I just want like this big rancher style house and I want to sit on my porch all day, watch YouTube vlogs, watch, you know, um, the traffic go by. Even if it's one car every six hours, that is the type of stuff I like doing, just dreaming. I like dreaming. My mother said as a child, she used to dream all the time. And I see why dreaming is just like when you're awake, that type of dream is just like it gives you something to look forward to, something to work towards. And I saw a lot of my mother's dreams come true. So I also, like I said, I'm going to make sure that I get up every single day and listen to the word, which is something I do. But some days I have I skip. We're going to go every day, 30 days of July. I've already done it this morning. 30 days of July, we're going to pray, pray, pray. I already have started drinking lots of water, so I don't have to worry about that. But thank y'all for watching this video with me. Thank y'all for all of the support. And make sure you turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video.